Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here, back with another Genshin Impact video. Now, you've probably seen the title of this video and you're thinking, what? A six star in Genshin? Let me explain. Before we get into the video, be sure to drop a like on this video. Leave a comment down below to support it. Uh, let's try and get this video to 3,000 likes. Uh, I'm going to give away 980 Prime Gems again, just for this video, just because I love the character in this video so, so much. So I'll pick a comment in my next video. Try and get this video as well. A bunch of likes to support it. And yeah, let's jump in. So uh, if you guys watch my stream, you know, probably my favorite character in the game by no surprise right now is Bennett. Bennett does it all. <laughs> he buffs your team. He heals your team. And even if you build him like not as DPS, you could probably have him as a main DPS. He's just that insane. Um, this video, I kind of wanted to make it just about Bennett. I've always wanted to do this video basically showing you the builds and stuff I use on Bennett. Uh, his weapons why he's absolutely insane and what he does for your team and yes bennett may be a four star the way his kit is set up he is essentially a, i would say a five star but he is better than a five star and i'm about to show you in this video why um if you don't have a bennett on your team first of all after you're done watching this video level up your bennett if you have him get him on your team and it will change your genshin life so Let's show you guys, first of all, I guess, what makes Bennett so great. So, I would say for anyone who doesn't know anything about Bennett, yeah, he just looks like a four-star, right? Four-star support. Uh, no, wrong. So, Bennett, what's really cool about Bennett is his ultimate, Fantastic Voyage. This is the number one thing, I think, that makes Bennett insane. So, Fantastic Voyage is Bennett's uh, elemental burst. Uh, what this does now when I was first getting into Bennett I had no idea what this did and no idea how to build Bennett or even what to do with Bennett like I was like wait so he's only good if he has his elemental burst up and I thought in my head I was like that's bad because then I would have to get my elemental burst just to use him no because you can literally get his elemental burst back in like five seconds if that obviously you have to wait for the whole cooldown but you can get it back ready for its next use super quick so let me show you guys this okay here's an example now my Zhao right now has 2474 attack okay keep that in mind right we pop our Bennett ult and it makes an area of effect now in this area everyone is being healed and everyone is giving a huge damage increase look at my Zhao's attack now 3790 now if we go to my Kli Lee has 3,325, which is absurd. It's insane. Now, you do need to switch the characters here. So, Klee actually went up to 4,436 from being inside the Bennett L. Now, the way my Bennett's probably perfectly built, I think, like, because the way I have it is uh, when you use your skills, it actually gives you uh, energy, as you can see there. One E filled it up that much. So, obviously, if you're in like an area where there's a bunch of enemies, two to three e's to get your super back is insane it's actually crazy now if you hit two enemies with your e you can just get back your super back quick there you go we already have it back nuts insane like first of all that's just crazy by itself so first of all before we even go into artifacts let me tell you guys what actually matters on bennett the only two things that fully matter on bennett is his level and his weapon level because the only thing that is buffing his uh fantastic voyage is his level and his weapon or his base attack even so the first thing you want to do which is what makes bennett insane yes they help a ton with the energy recharge but anybody can just put on bennett level him up to level 80 or even 90 get a weapon with energy recharge and level up to 80 or 90 and that's fine He's built. He's done. Anything after that, artifacts, constellations, is just extra. So, let me show you guys what I use for my artifacts. So, I'm running four Police Noblesse, obviously, because of the elemental burst. Whenever you do it, this will also increase your party member's attack by 20% for 12 seconds. So, it's basically a double Bennett alt in one, which is nuts. And then, obviously, the elemental burst damage is increased by 20%, which obviously helps the burst uh yeah starting off with the artifact here obviously we have the royal flora we've got some energy recharge crit damage hp is always good the two stats you want to go for is energy recharge and hp uh for flower we've got crit damage crit rate energy recharge once again 
Uh, the timepiece main stat, we've gone for energy recharge, attack, attack, HP. And then for the goblet, we've got HP main stat. Uh, we've got attack, crit damage, elemental mastery. Uh, more energy recharge might have been nice. And then for the uh, helmet, the mask, we've actually gone for healing bonus. Now, I have seen people just run like crit damage, crit rate, maybe. If you want to go into like a DPS Bennett, it could work, maybe. Um, but yeah, this mask is pretty insane because I actually managed to get 20% energy recharge attack, defense, and then more HP. So, uh, going into his constellations. Now, constellation 1 Bennett is pretty nuts because if you don't have constellation 1 Bennett, basically he works a bit different. So, normally his uh fantastic voyage so his ultimate so this is what confused me about bennett when i first got him um his damage buff only applied if you were over 70 percent health but if you get the constellation that's removed so you can only use the damage buff if you're over 70 percent health so if you've got constellation one he's perfect like he's god tier c1 bennett you've probably heard it everywhere in twitch chats is pretty much all you need anything else after that you're basically ascending god levels the more constellations you get. Now, a big tip I will give is do not constellation 6 your Bennett if you are 100% certain because you can't undo it. Now, I'll go into that later why you don't want to constellation 6 your Bennett. But before that, talents. What do you want to upgrade? First of all, this. Fantastic Voyage. Level it up as much as you can. Uh, anything else, the attack, the elemental skill you can do that later it's not required Midas max out because it absolutely just goes bonkers so when I pop this I am getting so much attack you can see it's crazy insanity numbers this is how my Ganyu does so much damage as well on my team because you pop a Bennett ult and the damage that just comes out after you're inside the Bennett ult is crazy now the way you want to play Bennett is obviously pop your elemental burst and then use your e when you're inside of your ultimate and you can see the cooldown is actually reduced um you don't want to hold the ability just tap it do not hold it that's the what number one tip i can give to all bayonet players is you can hold it if you want to but if you do only do it to one charge level um if you want to get your super back as quick as possible just tap it what you want to do is just tap it normally around three taps will give you your full super back um, we're going to go over his stats and stuff I've got on my Bennett. You can copy it if you want to. Uh, the more HP he has as well, the more he heals. This circle that he puts down is actually a healing circle. So you can actually just heal up your whole entire team. It's really freaking crazy. So I'm going to show you guys an example here how much he actually heals. Let me just get my like venti really low here. So I'd love for them to attack me. That would be great. Could you guys attack me? Thank you. There we go. Now, because Venti's health is actually so low, I'm probably going to heal it in one tick of Bennett's ult. So, not really a good example, but I just want to show you, like, uh, the healing you're about to see ticks every, like, second. Um, it doesn't heal characters to full health. They do go to, I think it's 70 or 80%, but it's just crazy. So, yeah, 6k, you can see there. There you go, 6k, 6.4k. And that'll keep ticking if you're not pretty much around here on your house so it'll just tick 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 so if you have like a zongli that's unkillable he is now mega unkillable but other than that what weapons do you want on your bennett now you guys i run the five star because i got unlucky and i somehow got it but it kind of worked out in the end uh this is what we use the skyward blade you want base attack and obviously energy recharge as the second pick a good four star i know a lot of you have if you guys did the dragon spine stuff is the festering desire that's what i used to use before insanity is good base attack energy recharge uh the five stars are just a bump up you can see here it gives you 10 percent more energy recharge and 100 more uh base attack which is crazy uh attribute skills here uh we've got 33 percent crit rate 88 percent crit damage we're not really using him as a damage dealer uh healing bonus 35 percent and energy recharge 276 percent and cooldown reduction five percent other than that Put Ben on your team, please, please do it. He's probably the best character in the game by far. My favorite character as well, so I guess it's kind of biased, but I tell stream all the time, if you guys do not have a Bennett on your team, go and try and wish for Bennett. He's on the next banner as well. He is on the Kaching banner. 
So, uh, yeah, if you're not wishing for Kaching, wish for Bennett. Try and get that Constellation 5. Oh, I forgot to mention as well why you shouldn't Constellation 5 Bennett. So don't Constellation 5 uh, 6 him even. Don't Constellation 6 Bennett because uh, it sounds good, but it'll ruin a lot of your elemental reactions and it kind of just messes you up in the long term. Yes, I think you could. I think it kind of works out for d Luke and stuff like that, but you don't want to be doing it. So I wouldn't Constellation 6 him unless they add the ability where you can take Constellations out. Don't Constellation 6 him. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.